Donald Trump was just elected U.S. President. I think we saw divine intervention tonight, folks. It's an act of God. I'm, uh, my phones are blowing up. People contacting me from all around the world. Got one text in particular said, Christopher, this changes our lives. You know what, my friends? He's right. This changes our lives. Tonight you witnessed history, but not just that, an act of God. This is divine intervention, folks. I just watched Donald Trump's victory speech. I've got a freeze frame where he's like this, hard hitting and in your face. Hard hitting and in your face, America. Donald J. Trump is the 45th president of the United States of America. This might go down in the history books is what saved America when you look back at this 100 years from now. How did an outsider with zero political experience, with all the odds stacked against him, win? All the Never Trumpers, the mainstream media, Wall Street, the list goes on and on. And the people have spoken tonight. And it's incredible. The fat lady is singing. I wish I could sing. I'd probably sing right now. But the fat lady is singing. And it is an amazing feeling. This stops the bleeding to everything we've been talking about for going on nearly 10 years now. He's got his work cut out for him. There's a lot of, I mean, this is just getting started. There's a lot of work to be done. But this helps swing, as I've said so many times before, that pendulum back and pushes back against these radicals, pushes back against the Manchurian president that makes up Barack Obama and what looked and appeared to be our worst nightmare. Hillary Clinton wouldn't even show her freaking face. She had to call Donald Trump. John Podesta told all their supporters, just go home. That's the kind of person and woman that she is. She doesn't even have the class or respect to show her face to her own supporters. Part of me thinks I'm going to wake up tomorrow and the Clinton campaign is going to accuse Russia of somehow hacking the freaking election. People are telling me, Christopher, like, is this real? Did we really just win? Did this really just happen? Yeah, it did. This is absolutely incredible. Donald Trump is going to drain the swamp. This has been some of the most interesting turn of events we have ever seen in world history. And it's absolutely fantastic. The rest of the world is shaking in their boots. America's enemies are shaking in their boots right now. We are showing strength for the first time in years. And it is such a good feeling. How is it that every single pollster got it wrong? Every single pollster. I mean, even from the very beginning, Donald Trump would never get the nod to be the GOP nominee, yet alone win the presidency. All the odds were stacked against him. How is that possible? How is it possible that every single poll got it wrong? Pretty easy. Mainstream media is full of shit. They've been lying to you, lying to all of us all along. We've attended the rallies. We've seen it wrapped around the building here in Arizona. Many of you have attended his rallies as he's traveled the country. And it's just so incredible. This is a defining moment for America and drain the swamp. I mean, for all we know right now, folks, Hillary Clinton might be on a plane out of the country. She's certainly going to be asking for a pardon. I mean, all of these people, James Comey, who I talked about in a couple of videos ago, should be charged with treason. Watch out. Donald Trump is here to drain the freaking swamp. Also, an interesting turn of events. Sheriff Joe Arpaio lost tonight because George Soros has been, you know, funding a campaign against him. But he'll probably potentially get a place in Trump's cabinet now, or he'll at least be helping with building the wall. All the things that Donald Trump is going to do, build a wall, get Mexico to pay for it, is coming. 
put a temporary stop, a common sense stop to radical jihadi terrorists from entering the United States and killing our children. That changes our lives, folks. Repealing Obamacare. That changes our freaking lives. A tax reduction cut for middle class families, like many of you tuning in, up to 35%. He's laid out in his 100-day plan. Changes your freaking life. That means there will be real stimulus hitting this economy. Real jobs created. Real investment. Wall Street, by the way, hates this because they fund Hillary Clinton. In fact, the Dow futures were down at one point some 800 points, something in that ballpark. It's actually come back a little bit. We're down 300 points. I'm looking now. All these never-Trumpers, the Hollywood elites, Silicon Valley, shaking in their boots. Mark Cuban, just eating their words right now. Donald Trump has won. And I want to congratulate all of you. Guys, con thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for what you've done. You've won tonight. We've won. I'm almost at a loss of, loss of words. I mean, really, I'm, I knew that this could happen. And I knew it was a possibility, but I'm also in shock that it's actually transpired. It really is an act of God. I have been praying along with you guys so hard that this would be the video that I would make on a wild day, by the way. Many of you are well aware that Fox News shut down our YouTube channel tonight, something that I'm going to address tomorrow. I'm not going to spend too much time looking in today where we can no longer live stream AM TV. Looks like we can still post videos, so we're going to try to rip this video that we're shooting live on Facebook right now is a backup, and hopefully we can at least get that re-aired on YouTube. This only proves that the mainstream media is dying and that they're irrelevant. I mean, watching CNN and MSNPC, it was like watching a freaking funeral procession tonight. Like, they're all hanging out at a cemetery or something. I mean, these people are scared. These people are eating their freaking words. And if you know anything about Donald Trump, he remembers. He's got class, but he remembers. All you GOP peers out there that turned on him, that turned that cheek and looked the other way, he remembers. You might be finished, my friend. Your political career over. And just a bunch of whiny freaking babies on CNN right now. There's an African-American gentleman who goes on this long emotional tirade, says that this was white lash. Tries to make it another racist event when it couldn't be any further from the truth. It just goes to show you who, who these people are. Just like I said, folks, Hillary Clinton couldn't even show her freaking face. Probably because she collapsed again. They took her off all the medication, the meds and the steroids and God knows what they've been injecting into her the last, you know, several weeks to keep her propped up. I think Hillary Clinton's in shock. I don't think she was expecting this. I mean, part of me is expecting tomorrow morning. And I talked about this. It's not Donald Trump that's not going to challenge the outcome of the election. It's Hillary Clinton that's going to challenge it. I wouldn't be surprised. We wake up tomorrow, they say this whole thing was rigged. Russia's to blame. Again, this is the new McCarthyism. And they'll probably run with that. I mean, John Podesta makes these strange comments, maybe because they're just scared because they know Donald Trump's coming after them. We're talking a special prosecutor. Chance. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Hillary Clinton's a criminal. She's crooked. And it ended a night. And it feels good. Donald Trump inherits a lot of extreme challenges going forward. You know, part of me feels like now they're just going to dump everything on him. The problems with our economy, 0% interest rates, funny money, quantitative easing to infinity, a parabolic move in the stock market up till now. Still, Heightened geopolitical tensions. Now, 
We, have, we might just have saved ourselves a world war here, folks. That big of a deal. Hillary Clinton stated specifically she wanted a no-fly zone in Syria. Russia said there would be war. Our four-star generals told you, told us there would be a war, a world war against Russia and China as a result if Hillary Clinton got in. Tonight potentially could have saved millions of people's lives. Who knows? And I'm not shrugging off the severe challenges that Donald Trump is facing. You've got to put Americans back, back to work. He's got to create jobs. He's got to stimulate this economy. And most importantly, folks, he needs to unite America together. It's time we heal the open wound because it is a big one in this country. There's going to be division. Part of me is kind of frightened to see what happens tomorrow. I mean, I'm just being frank with you. I mean, these radical leftists are violent. And I have no idea what they're going to do in the streets of cities, towns, and states here in America. I pray that that is healed. But I'd be lying to you and lying to myself if I actually believe that that was reality. There's going to be some kind of backlash. There's going to be some kind of repercussions to this. I mean, I really think this, is, this might be one of those moments that people look back on and go, it saved America. If Hillary Clinton got in, folks, we were talking civil war. We were talking secession. All that energy would have transferred back to the people, and it would have been bad. But I also want you to understand that there are still some very dangerous elements out there right now. And you'll see the reality of all this, God forbid, very soon. You'll see actions speak louder than words. How does the radical left react? How does the mainstream media react? How does Wall Street react? How does the establishment react to this? This is unheard of. A maverick riding the wave of this populist anger just won. And the world is shaking in their boots. And it feels good. I'd like to apologize to Alex Jones. You were right. This was a landslide. Even though I know you were being partly facetious in some of the videos, you were very serious in others. I apologize. I was wrong. Great work. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. This is amazing. And it's a culmination of everything that you guys do. All of your hard work. It proves the mainstream media giants are dead. They're irrelevant. You've made them irrelevant. We just had our act of God in this country. And it is amazing. Because of you. There's some laughter and smiles going on here in the background because it's just, it's so freaking crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys realize how much this changes your lives. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's crazy. Where do we go from here? What comes next? Well, the peso collapsed. It was down 10% here uh, when the results were coming out. Notice how CNN and the Clinton News Network just like kept delaying it forever. It was like, dude, like when are you going to call it officially that Donald Trump is freaking won? For God's sakes. You know, I'm sitting here on pins and needles on eggshells, you know, waiting for the official call. It's like they can barely announce it. Every major pundit and the mainstream media got it wrong because they're full of shit and they were lying to you the whole freaking time. That is the propaganda web. This is the Brexit on freaking steroids. Do you see how there's a backlash? Against these too big to fail interests? Against this Orwellian control that has made up America and made up Europe for far too long? The American people made a statement tonight, and it is a bold one. Michael Moore's right. It is a giant F U to the establishment. And I hope you heard it.
establishment because it's the truth. F you. This is our country. These are our freedoms, God given. This is our Second Amendment. Hillary Clinton, you scumbag. Barack Obama, you scumbag. This is all your freedom of speech. My freedom to speak on a camera right now and speak my mind. We are so much better off now that Donald Trump is in. With Hillary Clinton in that position, who knows? God, God knows what would have happened. A criminal. People have had it with the Clintons. And honestly, you better ask for a pardon. Bill, biting his freaking tongue, eating his tongue. Senile Bill, better ask for a freaking pardon. Chelsea, you better ask for a pardon. You all better ask for pardons. Comey, ask for a pardon. Because you know what's coming. Probably why you reopened the case in the first place. You know, we got to thank real journalists, folks. We got to thank people like WikiLeaks, Julian Assange for the work that they've done, these whistleblowers, these truth tellers, these leakers, people like Chelsea Manning, etc. This is wild, what just happened in the United States of America tonight. Man, I, I feel like the founding fathers just got erect. And you know what I'm talking about. I mean, really. Turning in their graves no longer. It's really exciting, and it changes everything. And we're just getting started. The grassroots media, just getting started. Donald Trump, just getting started. Putting Americans back to work, just getting started. Eradicating terrorists, just getting started. Being respected by the rest of the world for being smart, Tough. And, you know, Donald Trump, man, I thought he looked, if there was ever a moment someone looked presidential, it was tonight. And the hat is off to you, sir. You really, truly do represent the American people. And we've spoken. If this can happen, this act of God, this divine intervention, Imagine what more good can come from this. This is not about putting our faith in one person or a man or anything like that. Or, you know, because I know what people are going to say. Oh, you know, it has nothing to do with that. Donald Trump is a voice of the people. He's a servant of the people. And that's who we've elected tonight. And it's a very humble position to be in. There is something bigger at work here tonight, folks. There's been something bigger at work here. There is a reason why this happened tonight. And I really do believe it is an act of God. Now, Donald Trump needs to be careful. He's going to need really good security, which I know he does. He's a smart guy. This is still a dangerous time for America in a lot of respects. There's a lot of angry people right now. Again, I don't know what these radical leftists are going to do. These are a lot of bad apples, a lot of them. Not all of them, but there's a lot of riots, potentially, that could hit the streets. I mean, we saw this in Ferguson. We've seen this all across the country. As the mainstream media pushes this narrative. And I'm not trying to be negative at all right now, but what I am saying is remain vigilant, keep your eyes open, and don't be surprised if the mainstream media tries to spin this and spin a very anti-Trump message in the coming days. Again, I'm not too sure they're not going to tell us and accuse Russia of hacking the election tomorrow. I'm freaking being serious. I mean, everything's on the table. Who the heck knows? I don't even think the world really, really, truly gets it right now. Like, what the implications are of Donald Trump just winning. Like, I don't think it's even registered. This is in a day and age where we've never been in this position. A president's never been in this position with this much power, this much control, a Orwellian surveillance state, monopolies like these tech companies and the media owning and controlling everything. I mean, this is uncharted territory. And I think Donald Trump, 
is the best man for the job. He's not perfect. I've said it many times before, he's flawed just like all of us. But this is a populist uprising. Because of you, because of your support, because of good intentions. You know, what have, I, what have I always said over the last decade or so, nearly going on, that I've done this? What is the most effective weapon? What's most dangerous to these people that control us? An idea. And that idea tonight, folks, could not be stopped. And that's why they fear it, and it's why they fear you, and they fear all of us. It's why they lie to us. They tell us the polls don't reflect that Donald Trump's going to win, and then he freaking takes it by a freaking landslide because they're scared of you. They fear you. They do not want you to know that you have power. And we've seen that come to fruition today by the grace of God. And I want to make it clear, I'm not putting my faith in any one man but the man upstairs. But this is a huge, huge win tonight. This is an amazing, amazing victory. This is an incredible time to be alive. And man, if you've got children, wow. Big deal. It changes people's lives. Do you get that? How big of a deal that is? Huge. They can make fun of Donald Trump for the way he says huge, but it is real. Game changer tonight. Game changer. We're just getting started. This is just the beginning. So many new opportunities are now going to present themselves as a result. Your constitutional freedoms protected. And we've got to hold Donald Trump accountable. And this is a message of Donald Trump tonight, too. You're going to be held accountable, just like anybody else. Just like anybody else. For the things you've said, for the things you've promised, for the things that you've laid out in your first hundred days, for the things that you said that you're going to do. And like anybody, myself included, we're going to hold you to that. Because this is the people's country. How are you guys feeling tonight? I mean, is it just, are you ecstatic? Like I am? Can you believe it? You know, some people, you know, they're telling me, like, I don't know if I can trust. I, can I trust this? Christopher, is it real? It is. I responded to a close friend of mine, <laughs> believe it. He says, is it rigged? Act of God. I really think that's what we got tonight. I want to thank all of you for your tremendous support. There is going to be a storm of news to report in the coming days. And of course, we're going to be all over it. I will keep you updated on our YouTube shutdown, at least at this point. Again, if you haven't already heard, Fox News shut us down on YouTube tonight. It appears that we can no longer live stream. I'm hoping that we can rip this video that I am airing live right now and put it on YouTube as a single unit. I know for sure that we can't live cast it, which is why we're doing it this way right now. We need your support. I need your support. You have no excuse not to support us, all of you. If you're not already, please go to our website, amtvmedia.com, right now and subscribe on demand if you haven't already. It's the price of a cup of coffee. You really want to put the nail in the coffin to the mainstream media? Support guys like us. Support the real grassroots. We're the little guys. We need your help, and we can do anything. You just saw that tonight. I think part Donald Trump's even just, I could see him. He, there was a little bit of tears there. He held it together. He was amazingly composed. He knows this is big. We have the chance, an opportunity 
to redefine who we are as a people. To uphold the virtues of a pretty gosh darn great experiment that has made up America for just a few short hundred years of which people have died for. Something that we all hold dear in our hearts. A nation of diversity, of different colors, races, religions, political affiliations, gender. It makes America great. That's one thing, you know, I'd agree with the radical left about. But it's time that we have a balance to what made this country great. And it's exactly why our forebears set up this republic the way that it is today. So that a system like ours, no matter how corrupt, criminal, and rigged it became, could have a fighting chance to survive. And I think it's exactly what we saw tonight. And the beauty of it is it happened without a single shot fired. That's a big deal. Because the other option ain't pretty. Tonight has changed, whether you know it or not. And you might be too young. Maybe you're tuned in to the television. You're watching us. You're watching someone else. You, you, you're too young to maybe even get it. I'm telling you right now, if you don't get it, your life has forever changed tonight. And it's a big freaking deal. Take it from a guy who's been around long enough to know that. Amazing. A blessing. And I can only be humbled by it and call it grace. Because I think it's what we just all experienced. Prayer is powerful, folks. Whether you believe in God or not, I'm telling you, it's powerful. You witnessed it tonight. You witness divine intervention. I talk about all the time the, the truth, the light versus the darkness. It's pretty clear who outshone who tonight. And it's a big, big deal. Thanks again from the bottom of my heart. I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV, Alternative Media Television. It is an honor to serve you tuning in. Hard hitting and in your face, Donald Trump is the 45th president of the United States of America. Peace.